police barracks goes empty over heavy gunmen attack as officers' wives are abducted. You see, the Boko people are now bringing the attack to the barracks. They are no longer afraid. They are no longer afraid. They now believe that every officer is as well as an ordinary civilian. The same way they attack the civilian, they are now doing the same to the military. Meaning that they are telling the military that they are in no, in no way different from the civilians that they, the Boko people, are attacking. The Nigerian police have made themselves to be, to be, to, to, to be in that way. They have placed themselves like that. They have made themselves to be easy to be attacked. Yes, and that is what these people are now doing. They are now showing them the stuff they are made of. You can imagine our own military, the military that we are putting hope on that when war of this kind or when insecurity pops up, we will always run to them or they will always be the one at the forefront to secure the community and now the one being attacked. And these people have to bring the war to their barracks. They no longer wait for them to bring it to their own, to their own domain. It's a war. In fact, according to Mazen Amdekan, he said that the situation in Nigeria has gone beyond insecurity, but rather it's now a war. And that is it. Because for these people to bring the attack to the barracks, it means that the war is set. <laughs> oh, may God help us. May God help us in this country. Okay, look at what the content is um, is giving to us. He said the ravaging insecurity situation in the country is fiercely escalating with the hoodlums, causing a lot of menace in the society. The main target of these unknown gunmen are the security agents and their facilities. They go on rampage, killing, maiming, and settling ablaze vehicles and stealing of arms. It was reported that today at about 4.30 hours, armed hoodlums, numbering about 50, suspected to be members of the indigenous people of Biafra, stomped any divisional police headquarters to attack but the policemen on the duty who were fully at alert overpowered and repelled them the hoodlums proceeded to a nearby police barracks attacked and killed five police officers and one female civilian who is a wife to a police officer and set two vehicles ablaze a tactical team was quickly drafted to the scene to foster further destruction which made the hoodlums flee Meanwhile, the police public relations officer Diko McDonald confirmed the attacks on police facilities. This seems to be coordinated attacks as it came few hours after unknown government unleashed terror in rivers, attacking different formations and killing police officers. This is a wake up call for stakeholders in country and security agents to curb the activities of the criminal elements so as to bring lasting peace. That's it. Let us stop deceiving ourselves and stop wasting our time. The unknown gunmen are still yet unknown. See, if you keep calling IPOP, you will keep deceiving yourself because IPOP has proved within every reasonable doubt that they know nothing concerning the attack. Even Umayi spoke this morning. He said it that he knows 
that I pop knows nothing about the attack in the southeast but there is no way he's going to throw his support for them you can see that is an evil mind that's an evil mind you see that so uh, my only advice in this uh, in this issue is that the Nigerian police should be restructured yes because our Nigerian police they have so much made a mess of the security they have made a mess of the security and the formation is no longer intact I don't know the kind of um, people they recruit into the police force nowadays and I don't know the approach they use for recruitment because to me the approach the Nigerian police are using for recruitment doesn't go doesn't doesn't go well you understand now doesn't go well because the the the, the, the it 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 it's now look look as if there is a very big loophole. Loophole. Look at look at what's happened in rivers. Our Nigerian police in rivers they have to connive with uh with, with a vigilant group, a charm wearing vigilant group to come and be helping them to secure their own police station. Oh shit! It see we are not safe in this country. If Police officers can rely on local vigilance for protection. It means that the citizens in this country themselves are not safe. It means that they are not safe. Oh. At all, at all, they are not safe. So that is why something needs to be done very, very fast. Quick, quick. Before the wars begin to happen. Before the war begins to happen. Because the life of the people at first is placed in the care of this Nigerian security force. But, so whereby this the, the Nigerian security force themselves and uh, are, 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 are claiming not to be safe and start running away, it means that the people they, themselves are not safe. It means that they're not safe. You see that? So that is why something needs to be done very, very fast and the people should be safe. You understand? And that is just it. So please, let me, my dear viewers, just like it has likely been said, let's hear from you and know your own opinion concerning this that has just been um, taken note of. If you're new, click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons. To get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you